Good evening, folks. It's Diamond with the Oppenheimer Ranch Project Magnetic Reversal News and Shinrin Yoku bringing you a hail lightning magnetic reversal news update. Yes, a lot to swallow Thursday, October 1st, around 10 p.m. Mountain Time 2020. First day of October brings hail. Well, we've seen that before, but new research suggests that cosmic rays are capable of seeding clouds with radiation bursts, affecting weather conditions and even climate change in the long term. Now, this is coming from the work of Svensmark. Finally, we have the last piece of the puzzle explaining how particles from space, i.e. cosmic rays, affect the climate on Earth. Now, if you don't know, we have entered the cosmic ray new maximum as of 2018-19. And this data is coming from the Thule Greenland Neutron Monitor. So sometime right around the end of 2018, we hit that cosmic ray modern maximum. Now, what does that mean? Well, recent research has suggested that cosmic rays not only cause lightning, but they cause increased hail nucleation. And if we compare this to the data, we can confirm this. The largest officially recognized hailstone on record have been captured in the U.S. Fell near Vivian, South Dakota in 2010, July 23rd to be exact, measuring 8 inches in diameter, 18.5 inches in circumference. And just recently, a hailstone that crashed into Earth at Bethune, Colorado on Tuesday, August 14th, 2019, was the largest ever recorded at 4.83 inches. So what do 2019 and July 23rd, 2010 have in common? Well, July 23rd, 2010 is right here at the cosmic ray, modern maximum of all time. And then the 2019 event, boom, here again, both cosmic ray maximum points. So there's that. And he, over a year ago, I did a video, which is posted on Steemit. You can come look at it. Cosmic rays increase hail size and duration. Take a look at some of this footage. This is a Mexican city struck by a rare massive hailstorm, quote unquote rare, but we know better. This is going to be ever increasing. And now the start of lightning particles explained it's hail and cosmic rays. And this is known as early as 2015. For the first time, researchers demonstrated how lightning is started by a combination of hail and high energy particles from space. Can you even believe that? Now, you see a cosmic ray. Let me just blow this up here. A cosmic ray produces a shower of electrons. When these reach the tip of a large hailstone, where the electric field is amplified, the lightning then starts. This mechanism is now modeled by researchers at Centrum Wiskunde Information, the CWI, the National Center for Mathematics and Computer Science in the Netherlands. Together with colleagues from the University of Groningen at the Vrije University de Brussels, the research was partly funded by the Technology Foundation, STW, and the Foundation for Fundamental Research of Matter. Now, what they have found is that Cosmic rays and hail are nucleating lightning. That's where lightning is. It's inception. Now, the mystery of how lightning forms has been solved as early as just five years ago. Cosmic rays interacting with hail caused the phenomenon. Dutch, re Dutch researchers say they have an answer for how lightning begins. Cosmic rays from supernova are thought to strike ice particles and clouds. This causes a short circuit and produces a large flash of lightning. Scientists still are unaware where exactly this discharge occurs. Well, it, occur it occurs in the clouds above the surface where the hail is, guys. Now, here's the problem. As we've entered the new cosmic ray maximum, lightning has ever been increasing. And we've seen the world record longest lightning flash of 440 miles this year, confirmed. 
and, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. Record breaking lightning as long as Kansas was spotted back in 2019. Yeah. Isn't this crazy? Look at this lightning strike. It covered three states. That's one single bolt. They called it spider lightning because it's new. And then the UN Weather Agency measured lightning and satellites imagery here and 700 kilometer lightning bolt longest ever recorded here emanating from Hanoi 2020. So we have some of the largest lightning bolts ever recorded in human history happening now during the cosmic ray maximum. And if you just look at the weather, weather reports today, storm to bring hail, damaging winds to southwest Queensland. That's in the southern hemisphere. Fall storms in Ontario produce EF1 tornadoes and hail and water spouts in the northern hemisphere. And hail storm hits Michigan. Hail wallops apple, per, apples produced in India, for goodness sakes. Holy macaroni. Thunder hail, water spouts, and cold air funnels forecast. And these are all just the forecasts from today around the world. Cosmic rays have reached a new maximum uh, back in 2010 and now in 2020. It's not funny. That means all of the largest hail ever recorded on Earth happen at these two spikes. All of the largest lightning bolts ever recorded happen on these spikes. And it's only going to increase. Did you know that thousands of people have been killed from lightning strikes just this decade? That is going to increase into the number of tens of thousands. While people are forced from their homes, living outside, starving, and being electrocuted. That's the unfortunate future that we have to prepare for. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When increased cosmic rays guaranteed large hail, which you need a hard hat for, and some of the largest lightning bolts ever recorded in human history, which will be getting bigger. And there are accounts in times of yore where thousands of people die from lightning strikes. So learn about how to be safe from lightning. Learn how to get out of harm's way from hail. And wear your hard hat. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. When we're reporting on the magnetic reversal and the grand solar minimum at the same time. These reports aren't going to get better. They're only going to get worse. And what we should be re reporting on is preventative measures on how to survive and thrive in the future. We love each and every one of you. Thanks to all of our one-time donors, our Patreons, everyone who subscribes to the channel and shares these videos. Without you, this channel would not be possible. Be safe. We love you. And that is a boom to knowledge. Click on one of the boxes illuminating around the circumference of the square and gain more knowledge. Do it now.